Hey, Amy, my sister from down under. <laughs> this is your buddy, Alicia, and I'm responding to your video. I don't know if I have any particular line from a song, but after I heard about five seconds of the song Bring Me to Life from Evanescence, I immediately got an idea for a play and I wrote it. Um, actually, I'd been working on another play and I threw it away <laughs> and wrote, um, wrote that one. And it was uh, immediately a success. Um, the other one was um, Uninvited by Al Alanis Morissette. When I heard that line from Uninvited, you know, you're not allowed, you're uninvited, that's when I wrote my, my play Uninvited, which actually I turned into a film. So that was great. lose one sense, it probably would be my sight, because I think that from all your other senses you can probably tell beauty in the world. Okay, well, in, in my life my dad is a big celebrity, he's a very big opinion leader. So I definitely invite my dad. And um, let's see, some other ones. Robert De Niro, because I really love his movies. John Mayer, so after he comes to your party, he'd come to mine. And um, Steven Spielberg. John Travolta. George Lucas. I think that's it, right? Um, if I have to do one more, oh yeah, Mike Myers. Yeah. Well, it's kind of dumb because I didn't have much for dinner. I didn't have time to eat dinner tonight, so I had um, I had butternut squash soup. That's what I had. <laughs> If I could just have one skill, only one skill, and everything else was out the window, writing. I would definitely keep my writing skills. Who I'd want to play me in uh, the life story, my life story, uh, on big screen, Definitely Drew Barrymore. I think Drew Barrymore would be a perfect portrayal of me. What would I have on my utility belt? I thought about this before. Actually, one of the big things that I would have to have on my utility belt would be chocolate. Um, let's see, the latest Stephen King novel, because you know when superheroes are resting, they got to have something to do, so I'd of course be reading Stephen King, um, my camera, my, this is actually the first thing that I would have is my pen and paper because I always, I can never go anywhere without pen and paper. I have pen and paper everywhere I am just in case I come up with ideas and I usually do. I'll be sitting in the car and I'll be writing so it's really crazy but anyway. So yeah, so pen and paper. Um, I think that's just about it and um, I don't know, maybe a my doll, <laughs> just in case. Uh, oh yeah, okay. The 
this is um, conversational French. I've been reading it when I go to the gym and stuff. Don't heal, does he give? It's just <laughs> translating. Don't heal, does he give? Anyway, that was my French with my Russian accent for some reason. Uh, don't, don't ill, don't ill, ill. It's supposed to be ill. Don't ill. Don't ill. Don't ill. This is the Russian, French, you know, whatever. I don't care. Taming of the Shrew, Hopscotch, um, oh man, In America, there's this movie called In America, it's so beautiful, um, what else, it's really a difficult question because I love movies, oh I know, um, On a Clear Day, that's a great movie. The Last Samurai. Those sound good. But, ugh, you're limiting me to five because the all time greats, E.T., Star Wars, uh, whatever, they're on my list too. I guess that's it. <laughs> so, it's really late. It's like 11.30 at night and I gotta get up at seven. So, I guess I will See you tomorrow.